Yeah, we'll do that. Hey. Hey, Edward. So I'm internet dating now. That must be nice for you. Yeah, it's interesting. Are you uh, seeing anyone? Yeah, yeah, I am, and I, I somehow managed to do it without the aid of a machine. It's funny how it's harder to get over the people who are wrong for you. Like it was some personal failing that you couldn't make it work. And then, you meet somebody who is right for you. You think, this is nice. This is easy. But in some elusive way, it doesn't compare with a relationship that was doomed, the one where you felt everything. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I can tell you why Sophie wasn't right for me. So can I, Henry. Okay. I can tell you why Elizabeth wasn't right for me, why Erica, you didn't meet her. She was a, an econ major at Columbia. Chicago? No, New York. You know, I'd much rather feel the loss. I mean, really feel it. You know, and get so hurt that years from now, I say, no, oh, she was the one. She is still the one and I miss my chance, and I continue to feel the absence of her. And while I may be able to explain, as in a narrative, where things went wrong, I'm not able to explain away this pain. Yeah. Then there's something to strive for, you know? I wish I had that. I don't think I want that. Why not? Yeah, okay. David and I talked about it, and I decided to give acting a try. Mm. When's your audition? Two weeks. Can you hear it? Can you do some of it for us? No. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. 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 So what? Your friends have it. No. Sonia. Sonia. Come on. Did you read the newspaper today? No. Neither did I. I think I'd like to start reading the newspaper more. Yeah, me too. But I'd want to read it, you know, like really read it. Not just scroll up and down on a computer. I have this idea that through a committed, healthy relationship with a woman, a relationship with a newspaper might blossom and flourish. We have a whole routine, you know? Because I can't do it alone. <laughs> Does that sound stupid? No. That's not stupid. That sounds pretty stupid to me. You don't think so? That's a little stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really sweet. Walter, just so you know. Yeah? He's an idiot. I know. But he's so handsome. They don't even see Walter. Comes to town, doesn't go out once. I'm hurt. I mean, are you? I, I don't know about you, but I'm hurt. I'm serious. Did anyone talk to him? No way doesn't come out, doesn't return my phone calls. Knowing is always better. I mean, it's, it's never easy, but knowing is always better. I don't know. I'm telling you, knowing is always better. When I woke up this morning, everything in the whole world was suddenly clear. And I realized that I knew how to live. Man must work work in the sweat of his brow. No matter who he is, the point of his entire life is to work. And all his happiness. How wonderful that must be to get up at dawn and uh, pave a street. Or, oh, 
be a shepherd. Or, or a school teacher who teaches children. As long as you work, anything is better than waking up at noon and having breakfast in bed. <laughs> Taking two hours to dress? How awful that must be. I want to work the way I want cold drinks in hot weather. <laughs> and if I don't do that, get up and work from now on, and don't you have anything to do with me? Oh, thank you. That was great. <laughs> you are gonna knock it out of the park. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry, yeah. I just got some picture messages from Rosie. Is she get in okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Rosie, that's David's sister. She just started school in London. And mm. she's studying, I don't know, what's she studying? Viola. Oh, Viola. Let's stop it. Mm.